Hello, I'm Todd Green, CEO of Headblade, and you're watching This Week in Bald, Halloween Edition 2012. The Headblade Baldween Contest ends this Thursday, the day after Halloween, so get your entries in. We have a lot. I'll show you some. We have this guy, this guy, this guy. Why are they all guys? One winner will get an ATX starter kit, so get those entries in. UFC middleweight champion Anderson Silva is still looking for his next opponent after crushing the disturbingly hairy Stefan Bonner. Stefan, please shave anywhere, anytime. Although a new contender hasn't been announced yet, I'm predicting another first round win for the hairless nation. Isn't that right, Dana? Marco, Su Su Scudero, your team just won the World Series. Don't you think it's about time you took your head to the promised land too? In movie news, it's been a big year for actor Bruce Willis, who shot sequels to G.I. Joe, Die Hard, and Red. No word yet on whether he'll reprise his most coveted role as a guy who used to sleep with Demi Moore. Democrat political consultant James Carville and his wife Republican political consultant Mary Madeline recently released their bipartisan cocktail party tips for election night. Actually, Carville had only two tips, stay bald and stay irresistible. That's it for This Week in Bald. I'm still waiting for the sequel to Color of Night in Jane March. I really don't care if Bruce Willis is in that. What happened to Jane March? Jane?